Hello, my name is Lent, please would you call me Lent and welcome to this video on World Painter. We're going to discuss the use of the custom ground cover layer, um, not to be confused with the custom object layer. Um, what it is, it will put um, a block that you specify on top of the terrain that you've painted. Um, kind of like it's, it's in the layers menu. It's the same fashion as you would paint in a forest or something, but now you're picking one block or one type of block to um, be painted on um, the area. So what we do, we go to the plus sign and we're going to set, add a custom uh, ground cover layer. This window opens and there's a block idea, data value, a thickness, the we'll name and the color. Um, the block idea, what it's, I think it's mostly used for to get like quite a dense tall grass um, field because that's also why most people have asked for this tutorial it's because they want to know if they could make the terrain have a lot more tall grass in it um, so the block idea for tall grass is 31 the data value should be 1 because 31 colon 0 is the dead bush for uh, dead bush tall grass block and that's the one that we don't want probably um, the thickness stays at one. The thickness is how many blocks of the ones that you specified do you want to stick on top of each other. Um, so in terms of if you're going to do sugar canes or something, then of course you might want to do two or three of thickness or cactus, the same. Um, and uh, But for tall grass, of course, the, the top tall grass would break. It. There's absolutely no point to it. So thickness to one, the name can stay tall grass. Let's do it pink so it got nice contrast with the green um, intensity let's keep like this the water height is 62 so I want to do it only above 62 and I want to stick it only on terrain layer with uh, grass um, and I'm not going to really paint it in intensely um, because if you do it so a bit more sporadically um, the, the roses and the dandelions that are generated on the tall grass layer will every now and then still pop through the tall grass um, so it's not completely tall grass tall grass uh, and there's a problem if, if you're going to um, if you want to add more custom ground cover layers over each other there will pop up some problems but if you're going to do that you'll notice like there's some quirks with it so um, this is how I advise you to do it if you want to do it otherwise um, you will have to like probably probably shoot it yourself a bit um, but this is this tutorial is more to get the idea um, so tall grass it is not that dense uh, so that we get it's quite dense but we might every now and then see a rose or a dandelion pop up and another use that it is I think well I'm not sure if it's commonly used for it but it is a use that I would suggest is um, to make um, like bushes in this, as you have in the jungle biome, just of leaves. So block ID 18 and the data value should be um, depending on which leaf types you want because you need undecaying leaves otherwise on a block update they will decay. So uh, data value is either 4, 5, 6 or 7 depending on the type of leaf that you want. Oak is 4. Um, not sure what the others are, but you'll see it. Um, it's, it's in the data value sheet if you go to the Minecraft wiki. And I'm going to do a thickness of um, 5 just to make it very clear what it does. Um, the color is red. Let's paint it just. Um, this, this, these might overlap correctly because this one is higher as the other one. Let's. Mm. Okay, let's just paint it next to each other. Okay, so um, on the one hand we have tall grass um, and on the other hand we have leaves. I'm just going to generate this terrain. Okay, so now we are in game. Um, just looking around me, um, there's quite a bit of tall grass around here. This isn't naturally generated, the density is just too high. Uh, what we see is there are some dandelions among them, among the tall grass. That is because the layer isn't complete. Um, one of a little bit of odd behavior that we can observe this tall grass replaces of course the bottom one of the bam of the sugar cane that's because it's like uh, generated terrain um, so yeah this is one of the forms of odd behavior that you ca might get so um, yeah be aware and um, 
these are the tall, uh, these are the leaf blocks that we uh, we talked about. So these are four high, like I specified. Some are lower. Um, they're top of the grass as well. Um, this is the thickness setting what the thickness setting does and um, so yeah I just most suggest to use is like a, a replacement for um, underneath jungle trees if you're going to make a custom jungle and you didn't put in any like bushes and stuff um, so yeah this is what you can use this option for and I hope you have a use for this tutorial I hope it is helpful and uh, like comment share and uh, yeah have an awesome day